Hey there, it's Ashley. Welcome to Create for Christmas. Today we're going to paint a Santa Claus. If you haven't heard of Create for Christmas, it is 12 art projects that are Christmas themed and they're super fun. For this project, you're going to want your canvas. I'm using a canvas panel that's an 8 by 10. Your acrylic paints, a jar of water, something to put your paints on. I'm using a plate, paper towels, and your variety of brushes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make an under layer of paint. And we're going to make the under layer like a brownish black color. To do that, I'm going to add a little bit of black to my palette, some yellow, a little more yellow than the rest of the colors, red, blue. Brown's basically all the colors mixed together. And some green. Of course, blue and yellow make green, but it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of this. And then we can adjust the colors as we find necessary. I'm going to take my big wide brush here because this is what I'm going to use to paint onto my surface. I'm just going to mix all the colors together and see what kind of color I'm getting. Okay, so I have a greenish color here. Can you see that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more red. And watch what that does. See how it turns it more brown? It's exactly what I want to do. Now if I wanted it to be a darker brown color, I would just add black to my palette here. But this color is just going underneath everything to make it look like a kind of a rustic piece, art piece. So now that I have my brown, I can go ahead and put the under layer down. Can add a little bit of water, but don't add too much because this will it reduces the quality of your painting. It really doesn't matter that your brown matches my brown. It's not a big deal. This is just going underneath. It's adding a layer of color so that when we go over it, it's not white underneath it. Okay, you're gonna keep this color right here. And you don't have to wait for this layer to dry. Put that brush in your water. Then you're going to grab your black. Give yourself some black here. And you're going to take your round tip brush. Looks like this. And you're going to sketch the outside of your Santa. So I want the pom-pom of his hat to be about right here. I'm just going to sketch it with my black. This won't look finalized at all. But it doesn't matter. We're just sketching it, giving an idea of where things are going to be. This is going to twist around like this. And of course, the tip is going to be less thick than the outside. So it's going to end up running into the top here. And if we want to change that, we can. Later on, okay, we want the hat to be right around here, like that. This we want to be thicker. So this is going to come out about right here. We want the fluffy part right here. So just give a squiggly line. We want his face to be centered. So we want about the same amount on both sides. So we'll have to move things over just a little bit. We can make this thinner if we'd like, right through here. And we could have the pom-pom go over the hat. So I think that's what I'm going to do, like that. And then this line won't be here. I'm just squiggly that out. See how I'm going to do that? Okay. And then the pom pom curves down. This I want to come up a little bit more like that, be a little thicker. And then I want 
the fluffy part to be about this thick. It's going to go down a little bit more on the sides. And come up in here. And all this black will be gone over. Okay, and then I want his beard and everything to kind of go out like this. So I'll just make the line here. Okay, but I want this to reach out a little bit further than his beard and be a little bit out further than the hat too. So I'm just going to move that out here. Like that. And like that. And the black will serve as part of the shadow. Okay, and I want his cheeks to be really close up here. I'm going to make his cheeks on both sides, his nose in the center. Okay, his eyes somewhere in here. And then his mustache coming underneath his nose, like that. See how I curve the line? Like this, and I curve the line to match the other side. So really this is just a curved line down, curved line that's wider, curved line that's wider, two dots. I mean, really we're just going with the basic shapes here. Follow this underneath here. Follow this underneath. Okay, and then I want some kind of mouth. So I'm going to make a little U shape here. Okay, now I got to decide what I want to do here with this. I'm going to make it a big beard coming out like that. Round it out a little. Okay, that's all you have to do for the sketch. Okay, and then wash your brush out and what we're going to do is we're going to add some white to this gold color here make sure that you don't have water on your brush to start out with okay and then mix the color with white now you're just going to go around the shapes like this and then around the shape like that don't worry that it's high contrast you're going to add a lot more colors in here what you're just doing here is you're adding some texture okay now you're going to grab put that in your water now you grab your flat brush the flat on top you're going to grab your black and you're going to do the same thing with your black just follow those shapes Okay, now you're going to add the color that you really want to have on the outside and that's going to be, I don't know, whatever color you want. It's kind of a personal thing as far as what colors are in your house. Um, maybe you have a really rustic looking house and you don't, it's not super colorful. And I would just leave it like this, or I would add a little bit of um, red, like a brick red, to the outside. Um, if you have a really bright colored house and has lots of different colors, I would go with what colors I'm doing because that's my house. Um, if you have a muted house that um, your decorations are whites and creams and things like that, I would add some yellow out here and then a lot of white to your yellow and make kind of a gold. See all the different possibilities? Lots of them. So I'm going to add some blue on the outside here, all of this, and then go out. See how that adds the color in there that it really needed. And you can still see 
the other colors. You can still see this color over there. It's just not the main color. Go around any shapes you want to change down here. Since this is your main color, you're going to want to shape around everything a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to take this color and I'm going to go in here a little bit with it. Now you'll end up going over this, but some of it will show through. I'm just taking my brush, just adding just a teeny tiny bit everywhere. Okay, see how it's kind of just barely in there. All right, now you have his hat. I'm going to use my kind of a purple color and my red because my red's very orange. I don't know what color you have as far as your acrylics, but I would use like the truest red that you can. Okay, now I'm going to go through here and see how that blue shows. But I'm mostly going to cover this whole thing, but I'm not going to worry about some of the colors coming through. I want some of the gold to come through. I want some of this black to be seen on the outside. I'm going to go around my pom-pom. Okay, and I do notice that I have this area right here that I didn't add some of that, those colors to. I just overlooked that because I'm trying to focus on giving a lesson to. So just come in here, not too big of a deal. Add some of that color. And some that, see? And a little bit of black. And then continue adding the red. This will fill up a good portion of it because this is the main color. And make sure you kind of let the color, <clears throat> let your brush strokes be a little smoother on this one. And follow the shape of the hat. And then I'm going to come down a little bit further than my line because my um, white will go over the red. Okay, and then right here in the middle, I want to take my nice thick brush. Where's that? Okay, get a little damp, grab a lot of the color, try to smooth this out in the middle. That'll make it look like this right here comes together a little bit more with less stuff showing through. Now you're going to wait for that to dry. So let's work down here. While we do that, make sure our brush is nice and clean and the water's off of our brush. We're going to add white to our palette here. Here you guys can see this. Move it over here. There you go. Okay. Okay, now you're going to add in his beard and his mustache. Okay, and you're going to do the same type of thing. You're just going to take your flat brush and make hair strokes. And some of those colors are going to come through, like the gold and the blue and the black. And you want that. Okay, leave a little bit on the side here. Let's make some whiskeys coming out like that. Okay, now you're going to go this direction with the mustache, and that's going to separate the two has to do with your strokes and you're going to make long strokes like this use the side of your brush see how 
it's flat on that side. If you have too much brush. If you have too much paint on your brush, you can just get it off. Follow the line. Let some of those colors separate. See how it separates the two? Okay. Now you can separate it even more. By taking some black, putting it on your brush, and you're going to follow the bottom of this. And you see how I'm making short strokes? That makes it look like hair. These short, 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 broken up strokes. Okay? That helps separate that. Same up here. You still have a lot of that up there. We're going to make a flesh color. And we're going to do that by taking that gold color that we have. And if yours is dry, just make some more. Okay, we're going to take the gold. We're going to add some white to it. Now you're going to add a little bit of that red to it. Add a little bit of yellow to it. Okay, and it'll make it a little more peach colored, I'll show you. Because really, it's orange and white that makes a peach color. You add a little bit of yellow to that. Can you see how that's almost the perfect color? That's flesh color for you. Okay, now you're going to use your flesh color on your cheeks here. And you will add some pink to this. Okay, notice how I went in a round motion and then here I went under like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing when I come to this nose. Go around, twisting my brush, following the lines of the mustache. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. Go around those cheeks. And then follow this line right here. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit less of this color. So I don't have as much paint on my brush and I'm going to use it really lightly. Not too much pressure. The more pressure I put on it, the darker it's going to be and I'm going to go over. And I'm going to go over my eyes. I can put those back in. That was just a sketch. Okay, see how it makes it look like it's kind of a darker tone underneath there? Now that we got most of the flesh in here, we're going to add a little bit of pink to the cheeks. So let's go in a circular motion like this. Adding pink to those cheeks. Make them stand out. Okay, and just make sure that this right here is pretty smooth. See how you can smooth that out with some water. And add a little bit of pink to that nose. Now I'm going to grab my round brush. Make sure that it's nice and dry. And I'm going to add that to the mouth here. See how I'm really not getting that detailed? doesn't matter. It's a red mouth. Okay? That's all you need. Okay, and then I'm going to grab that flat brush again. This is dry now. So I can come in here and put the white over the top. So I'm using my the square of this to make strokes. Okay? So I'm going to go kind of like a back and forth motion. And I'm going to let some of this on the outside See how I'm just letting it look fuzzy? I'm using the side of my brush and I'm just pulling out like this and letting it have some texture there. See how I'm just letting it, the side of my brush, make it look fuzzy like that? Then when I come back in, more of that white paint. See there's less there, more here. And that makes it look like this part is going to be fuzzy, but it's covered mostly. Like, 
there's more fuzz here and then it goes to the outside okay same thing here that texture and over here now I just have to go this direction see how you can make things look textured by adding texture with your paint pretty cool huh okay and then I wanted the outside to have a little more and then it comes in get skinnier right here we're almost done guys and the best thing about this is you can be random like I'm not going down and systematically putting my strokes down making sure that every little fuzzy thing is perfect no I'm just being random really quick and it makes it look better that way <laughs> One direction, two direction, three directions, going all sorts of directions. And then this is going to have more paint in here. Now if you see anything that you don't like about the beard, you can come in here, change it. Don't be super perfectionist though. But this is the time to do it if you're going to do it. Because we're going to be done here. Okay, now you're going to come up here in the pom pom. Same thing, a lot in the middle. Randomly, randomly, like I'm moving my brush around and just blotting it. Okay, and then once I move to the outside, I'm using the thin part of my brush and I'm just letting it kind of go all sorts of directions, skinnier. to overlap this red part here. Now grab your round brush, dry it off, and you're going to put black on your brush, and you're gonna make those eyes again. Okay, and then what makes the eyes look like they're real? To add the reflection to, in them with white. And you are done. That's it. Here's the finished Santa. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought about this project and if you have any questions you can leave them there. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and go to createfulart.com and subscribe to Createful Christmas so I can send you all 12 art projects. I will see you soon with another Christmas art project.